In this video, we will look at downloading and installing VMware Workstation 10 on a Windows based system. This video is based on VMware Knowledge Base Article 2057907. Before you download and install Workstation 10, ensure that your physical machine meets the system requirements for VMware Workstation and ensure that you are using a supported guest operating system. To download Workstation 10, go to the VMware Download Centre on the VMware website and then navigate to the VMware Workstation download page. Select the Windows installer. Click download now. If prompted, log into your MyVMware profile. If you do not have a profile, create one. Review the end user license agreement. If you agree, select the I accept the terms in the license agreement option and then click accept. Note, you can only have one version of VMware Workstation installed at one time. You must uninstall any previous version of VMware Workstation before installing a new version. To install VMware Workstation on a Windows host, log in to the Windows host system as the administrator user or as a user who is a member of the local administrators group. Open the folder where the VMware Workstation installer was downloaded. The default location is the downloads folder for the user account on the Windows host. The installer file name is similar to the one displayed on screen. Right click the installer and click run as administrator. If the installer reports an error when you run it, you may want to verify the download. For more information on this, see VMware Knowledge Base article 1537. Review the end user license agreement. If you agree, select the I accept the terms in the license agreement option and then click next. Select a setup option. Typical installs typical workstation features. Custom lets you select which workstation features to install and specify where to install them. Select this option if you need to change the shared virtual machines directory, modify the VMware workstation server port or install the enhanced virtual keyboard driver. The Enhanced Virtual Keyboard Driver provides better handling of international keyboards and keyboards that have extra keys. Follow the on-screen instructions to finish the installation. Click Continue. In the space provided, enter your 25-digit alphanumeric license key and click enter or click skip to enter it later. Click finish. Restart the host machine. After installation, the installer creates a desktop shortcut, a quick launch shortcut or a combination of these options in addition to a start menu item. To start VMware Workstation, select start, programs, VMware Workstation. This concludes our look at downloading and installing VMware Workstation 10 on a Windows based system. For additional tutorial videos, be sure to subscribe to our KB TV YouTube channel and our KB blog. Thank you for choosing VMware.